Hello, dear friends. So, Fisher here. So, today we continue with our beautiful stories about power of the spirit by Alfred Hosp, and also known as Freddy in the book. And now、uh, we continue with what Bruno's talk about this energy and vibration. So Bruno continued to say, "I would now like to tell you about one particular tra- tra- tragic case, tragic case, and when an old woman." Who, for many years, has been bedridden, was being buried. Her daughter stood weeping at the open grave. She was thinking about the long time that her mother had suffered, and was picture, was picturing to herself all her mother's misery, as well as her bodily afflictions, in all their details, which she had lived through with her days after day. She engrossed herself in the past and eventually lost consciousness. And when she came to a, again in the hospital, her body was in the same afflicted and helpless state that her dead mother's had previously been in.、Uh, so Bruno just、uh, gave example about what he said before. So there was a mother、uh, sick for a long time, and then eventually she died. And then the daughter, so basically, picture, picturing and imitates all her mother's sufferings in details, and then she keep dwelling on the past, and then she keep dwelling on the past, and eventually lost her own health, and then she's in the exactly same、uh, afflicted and helpless state as her mother had ever been in. So basically, whatever like、uh, her mother's disease, the daughter took it on, and then you ask yourself, how does it possible? How does it possible? Why like、uh, you know somebody like who took on somebody else's disease? How does it possible? We always know like、uh, even these days like、uh, in the secular or our traditional medicine like the. And then the modern medicine we believe in, like the hereditary, like somebody has diabetes, and well, even though it's not much hereditary, somebody has like schizophrenia, some mental health like disease, always run down the family.、Uh, you are, you wonder yourself why? Why it just simply pass on by the genes? But like it's、uh, it's not proven. Like even people say, oh, all my family has bowel cancers. Oh, they have a bowel cancers. And then like I might have bowel cancers too. I'm more worried. And then oh, and then、uh, is bowel cancer hereditary? So I said not necessarily. Not necessarily all these cancers hereditary, but all these like、uh, negative vibrations and energies intend to be hereditary. So basically, before we take on the disease of others, or basically our parents or great like our great parent、uh, grandparents and our great grandparents. Basically, we took on the like negative or、uh, sick vibrations and energy. So we inherit, we inherit that first, and then our body becomes sick too, as whatever the sickness they had in the past. And then we say to ourselves, "Oh, must be running in the family." It is running in the family or not is entirely depend what you took on from your parents. So I could say like、uh, smoking and drinking running in my pa- like in my family. If I today I'm,、uh, if I like if I'm today like smoking and drinking, I could just say, oh, my dad smoke and drink, my grandpa smoke and drink, and then his his grand his his dad, my great grandpa smoke and drink, and then my great great grandpa smoked and drink. So it's running in the family.、Uh, obviously, I'm I don't smoke or drink. So I can say, well, it's not running in the family because I stop it, I bloody stop it. Excuse my language, but that's exactly what's happened. Whether things or disease or whatever, often it's disease or disorders, running in the family because you took it over onto your own body. You had the choice to stop it, but of course it's very very difficult because you grow up in that environment. It's in your subconscious. But you still have a choice, dear friend. So you can choose not to take him over. The choice is always yours. So make no excuse for yourself. Don't say, "Ah,、oh, well, you know, I smoke and drink, or I do something else, this and that, because my mom and dad did that, because my grandparents did that." 
But you are you. You are different. You better than them. You should, and then you sh- you should have no better. So very important. This little story tell us so not to imitate all those illness, all those negative things in your parents' life. Whatever your parents like,、uh, whatever the terrible things happen in your parents' life, that belong to them. It, they don't belong to you, dear friend. So you need to make conscious cut, conscious cutting yourself away, not from your mom and dad. Like you still need to love them, like you still should love them, but cutting away from all their afflictions, cutting away, cutting yourself away from all their illness, cutting yourself away from all their disorders. But you need to always restore and have order inside you. And then you become healthy. Okay, dear friends. So we'll continue with our、uh, story another day. So it will be the same,、uh, same talk.、Um, Bruno Gibb.、Yeah. Okay. God bless. Have a good day.